Hi guys, so today we're going to talk all about the Valentine's Day that's coming literally I think in a month. Do not quote me on that, I have no idea, I'm not even sure what date we are today. Let me just check. Okay, about the 22nd of January, so yeah, it's coming in about three weeks, if I'm not mistaken, three to four weeks. Pasha from Cartier, and this perfume is dark and powdery. So this is definitely leaning more classic. It is definitely more serious of a scent. It smells manly and clean at the same time. It is pretty intense. So I would say this is definitely if you were trying to make a bit of a statement, but you're not trying to go overboard. I do have one fragrance. That's my number one that you'll see. This one is like a statement maker. But let's focus on Cartier. So this one, as I said, is really... It's a bit woodsy, there's a bit of freshness at the base. It's definitely more powdery leaning than most male fragrances I've smelled. But it is just, I think, an easy, serious crowd pleaser. I don't think anybody will really think that you smell like crazy, but they'll definitely think that you smell really good. So this, I think, is a safe perfume for Valentine's Day. These are for the men out there that are just trying to make a little bit of a statement, but are still trying to keep it low-key. So this is Cartier and it's called Pasha. Okay, the next fragrance we have, it's called Sator. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. This is like an Arabic brand, if I'm not mistaken. And this one is a bit more interesting. It is definitely more on the affordable side. Oh, this is nice, yeah. This is around, I think, $50 US which is probably a bit more expensive in Canadian and for other countries I think you would have to look it up but this is a spice of bomb this is definitely leaning Middle Eastern it is spicy it is slightly sweet so this I would say has a bit of a freshness to it so I think the note of cinnamon and cardamom at the top are really like poignant and really strong and I do believe that this one will definitely be a bit of a challenge if you're not used to a Middle Eastern leading scent. This one is definitely serious, but it's a, there's a bit of fun to it. It's not too serious where you feel like you need to wear this at a black tie event. This is definitely date night appropriate. This is definitely, you know, you're wearing a tuxedo or you can be wearing your leather jacket. It really doesn't matter. It just, if you can wear it and wear it with confidence, I think you can get away with with this perfume because it is really beautiful especially for the price this is really surprising this smells really high-end next for my men that are more subtle that don't want anything too crazy they just want to keep it simple clean just have a hint of a nice smell I have two options for you and they're both from Barredo because I do feel like their fragrances are more light and less on the nose so the first one we have here is gypsy water and this one starts out really fresh peppery, slightly lemony, and then it kind of goes down into this watery vanilla. It's really subtle. I know people are saying that some of them are smelling the vanilla. Other people are not smelling it at all. I do really get a little swift of it. Like I said, for me, it's more of a watery vanilla. It's really soft, really subtle. This scent is really cozy. I feel like if you want to get close and personal, it is definitely not offensive. It will definitely be inviting enough where the lady in your life will feel like you do smell really nice but it won't feel like you know you're too much like I can't get cold because I can be literally suffocating because your perfume is so intense so this is a nice bed for the ones out here that just want to have a really clean subtle simple and still inviting scent the next scent is going to be Mojave Ghosts again I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right but this one is a bit more subtle, more so than the other one. They're subtle in different ways. This one is a bit more of a refinement going on. It's a bit more complex compared to Gypsy Water. I feel like it's more linear. It's really just simple. This one, I feel like there's more complexity at the base. There's something here that just gives me more of somebody that has that's that lives in luxury. Then Gipsy Water, I feel like Gipsy Water is just more um, appealing and it's more crowd pleasing and it seems like anybody could be wearing this fragrance. This one on the other hand feel like, you know, you, you got a bit something going on in your life. It's a woodsy floral. I do get the woodsiness. I think it really 
keeps the fragrance fun and interesting. I do feel like both of them, if you're not trying to be too boring, these will not be the scent for you. And when I mean boring, I don't, I don't mean it in a bad way. It's just mostly, again, like I said, you don't want to be offensive with your smell. You just want to keep it really simple, really delicate, really cozy and nice. You don't want a lot of perfume to kind of distract. They just want something beautiful and refined. These two perfumes would definitely be the, be the choice for you. Diretoids, I think most of their offering honestly just fall into that category. So I would say try a Mojave Ghost or a Gypsy Water. The next option is actually still in the same family of if you're trying to smell clean, but this one goes on another direction. So this is Versace and it's called Eros Flame. Okay, the name is like so intense. But this one is still a really fresh fragrance. But this one is more fun. I would say this is the kind of younger brother that is having fun, that is more delicious, more sweet. This is more sensual, more sexy, more warm than the two others from Byredo. So if you're kind of trying to still go on the clean sphere, but you're trying to be like more, give more of a pep, more fun, I think Versace will be your option. This is vanilla, this is lemon. It is both citrusy, but also has a bit of warmth to it. I think it's an interesting fragrance. Like even for me, I'm like, I think a girl, like women can wear this for sure. But there is still that underlining like cologne smell. I think I would not be able to pull off. But ladies, look into this because this is actually pretty nice. I do feel like men fragrances do clean fragrances better than women, in my opinion. But I don't, I don't think to like clean fragrances, so. I might be biased so yeah this is a bit aromatic and green but there's still that underlining sweetness that carries throughout the fragrance that makes it just really fun and really sexy and that makes it just like you just want to smell more of this so yeah if you're still leaning on the clean side but you're trying to find something really fun really interesting I think it's still simple like this is still simple this is still not offensive this is a great option and this is Versace Eros Flame. Keeping it again another vanilla offering this is Inventus and this one is actually also a bit similar to Versace but it goes in another direction. This one is more of a green vanilla. It is definitely more clean and green smelling I would say than the Versace that I just talked about. In the reviews a lot of people were bringing up the fact that it smelled like coca-cola. I personally do not smell that but if you do then I guess this will not be the fragrance for you but then if you do and you love coca-cola then this is this is the perfect fragrance for you. This is simple straightforward it's just vanilla a bit of greenness which makes it fresh it's simple I think this is a kind of perfume that you wear that you're not really gonna stand out. I think if you smell like this, probably somebody out there already smelled this perfume or smelled something really similar. Because even as I was smelling it, I did feel like I'd smelled the scent before. So if you're not trying to kind of, you know, be too unique, you just wanna smell good, and you don't mind that maybe somebody else will probably smell like you, then this is a beautiful vanilla, green, fresh offering. This is Invictus. Okay, now we're getting into the hard hitters. We're getting into the ones that are... If you're wearing this for Valentine's Day, thank me later. Actually, no, do not. Before I get into my big hitters, I just want to have an honorable mention for Maison Margiela, and it's called Jazz Club. So this one, I'm putting it on the list just because it is a beautiful, smoky, slightly leathery, sweet fragrance. And the reason I'm mentioning it is basically if you still want to use one of the fragrance I've said earlier, but you want to add a bit more depth to the fragrance, I think this is a perfect layering combo because this adds just that oomph of refinement and of complexity that a lot of the fragrances that I talked prior are requiring. This is definitely a bit of a gamble because I do feel like Replica is really popular amongst the ladies and you might you might be competing with your other significant that she might be wearing also this perfume. So this is a risk that you will have to take but regardless if she's wearing it that means both of you love it 
So at the end of the day, it's a win-win situation for everybody. It is warm and spicy. This is definitely the kind of scent that invites you in. You just want to get more of it just because it's just so cozy. And I do believe this is a perfect layering combo. If you're looking for something a bit more complex to add to maybe a lighter or more simple fragrance. This is a Replica by Maison Margiela, Jazz Club. My first a big hitter, and this is Tonkade. I think I made a video about this being my favorite Tonka fragrance. And it is. So this fragrance is definitely warm and sweet. It is so cozy, so inviting. This is the kind of perfume you want to wear if you want to get close and personal. Because this scent, every time I smell it, it just puts me in the mood of just wanting to wrap myself up and like drink a big glass of hot chocolate but it still has like that sexiness going on on the background that never leaves and I think that's because of the like toasted caramelly powdery tonka I'm getting this is slightly powdery so I would say if you do not like powdered scent profile this will not be for you but if you want to risk it Trust me, this is a really good one. And this is again a tongue cape, a buy. Let me not even try. I'm gonna write it out somewhere here. This, this is you stronger. Let me say it again. This is Stronger With You Intensely by Imperial Armani. This scent is oh so good. This, the first time I smelt it, I thought salted caramel mixed with dry fruits oh, and there's toffee in there there's toffee and you definitely smell the toffee especially during the dry down this is gourmand leaning this is dense but it is so sweet so sexy so sensual that I think you need to be sure that you want to be wearing this to wear this because you don't want this perfume to be wearing you you want to be wearing it but it is so good. This is a statement. When you're walking in here with this scent, it's a statement. Now, the only con about this perfume, I believe it is pretty popular, if I'm not mistaken. You guys can let me know in the comments because I'm not really aware of like what men fragrances is. Especially, I think the only male fragrance I know for sure is really, really popular is Navitus. No, it's not Navitus. What's the name of that house? Creed. But I forgot the name of the perfume. It's like everybody loves that perfume. It's like gray, dark gray and like gray or something. I digress. This is the perfume you want to go if you want to smell like a sexy, sensual, sweet, kind of boozy snack. I can't believe I'm saying this right now, but yeah, well, that's that's how I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to put it. So this is a definitely yes. These I think a lot of ladies would love. Like I personally like it a lot, and I like it so much. I'm like I'm liking it for myself. So this is Armani, stronger with you intensely. Get it. The next heavy hitter. This is a new fragrance. You probably heard about it, and it is Chocolate Queen. <laughs> Now, the meme might defer some of you men out there, you know, but don't let it <laughs> because this is such an amazing chocolate fragrance and what better occasion to wear chocolate than during Valentine's Day. This is unisex, definitely. There's a creaminess, a lactoniness oh to this that makes it so smooth, it's so sweet. It's definitely chocolate, but we're getting a bit of dark chocolate, we're getting a bit of milk chocolate. Ugh, this is, this is nice. This, I would feel like, more than the standalone, this will do a really beautiful job at being layered with another perfume. My mind is working, but those two, I feel like, would be fatal. Fatal. You know what? Look at me. I'm giving you guys some free advice right now. This together, I think that this, this is it. Actually, no, I have another perfume, but these two, I think, would make such an amazing pairing. Beautiful chocolate fragrance, definitely unisex. If you have issues with the name, I'm sorry. If you don't, get it, try it, try layering it, because I think this would be the only occasion, honestly, 
to have a chocolate fragrance to go out. Well, you can have other opportunities, but I think Valentine's Day is definitely where you want to make a statement. So yes, chocolate queen. Now we're down to my top four. I think those are going to be like the best fragrance for Valentine's Day and just for any day night, honestly, especially during winter time. But those are definitely winter time fragrances. So at number four, I have Soir Exclusive by Navitus Perfume. This one, I bought it for myself because this one is so good. If you love coffee, you like bitter almonds, you like kind of like that nutty, sweet, slightly caramelly scent, this is it. This is strong. This is, this lasts long. The sillage is beautiful. And the fragrance is so complex, but still feels light and simple. This is a beautiful fragrance. I think it is both sexy without being too ostentatious. I think it is unassuming in a sense that it's not trying to do too much, but it's complex and refined enough that it will pique interest, that would definitely bring a bit of compliments, and that it just gives you the allure of being like, in control and being confident it's that kind of fragrance it's just the perfect mix of everything you know it's not too much but it's not too little it's like the perfect balance so this is soir exclusive even the name says it like exclusive night what else do you need the name is selling it to you so the next fragrance i've talked about it actually in my review for the from the house of aldi Bure, and it's called etoile noir and this one, like I said on my review, and I'm going to reiterate here again, it is such a beautiful, refined fragrance. Sorry, it's really on my, on my hands as I'm smelling. This is the, the last three fragrances, this one and the two more I'm going to show you, are definitely walking into the James Bond era. This is what this perfume are giving me. They're giving me men that are confident, that are sexy, that are really assured of themselves, that take care of themselves. There's something just so refined and luxurious and put together about these fragrances it's hard to explain like this one even there's just so many layers to it like i can't really say that it's fresh or that it's warm or that it's sweet it's just this perfect blend of maleness i don't i don't know it is not in your face it is not like oh, aggressive refined but then it's still pack a punch. This is a really good one. And I don't think you'll find a lot of people that have this because I still think that the braid is a bit unknown. So if you're trying to maybe stand out a little bit, if you're trying to be a bit different, I think maybe you should try Etoile Noir from Audibre. This is funny because my last two perfumes for men are actually featuring the note that I personally hate the most. But funny enough, those two fragrances were able to kind of break down my barriers and I fell completely in love with them and I think they're one of the best male fragrances and honestly these are really unisex so like ladies do not worry you can buy these fragrances also the second one is going to be Portrait of a Lady by Frédéric Mal I've reviewed that fragrance and my review in popular called favorites I think a couple of weeks ago or last week this one was such a surprise because this is the epitome of what I believe James Bond should smell like. <laughs> I'm giving you that image because like, I think having a mental image gives us a better understanding of what I'm trying to say because I could go on with the notes and everything but you know it's like if you haven't really smelled certain notes I don't think that's gonna be really helpful. So this is giving me James Bond a vibe. This is a man in a tux, all black. You know he is unimpressed by anything he's living his best life he's sipping a little martini on the side he just looks like he knows what's happening what's going on he has everything together he doesn't have to worry about his bank accounts and this and that, and that. you get the picture you get the picture it's basically an homme fatale this is a rose scent this is a rose scent that is a bit cold at the same time warm there's like this little dance going on here it is slightly green this is a scent that you need to be extremely sure that you want to wear this because I feel like this is a scent that can easily wear you. Like, this comes with a certain aura. This comes with a certain vibe. I think it, there needs to be a specific place, but again, this is... Take everything I see with a grain of salt. I don't know that you do whatever you want to do. But 
this is giving me black tie event this is giving me fancy dinner or anything that just seems like over the top this is the fragrance for that i think this is one beautiful beautiful rose scent but my number one it's this one drum rolls number one is not <laughs> i'm gonna butcher that name but this is how i'm pronouncing it in my head it's called Badi Al Oud. And this fragrance, I smell a lot of perfume. But it's rare for me to smell a perfume and say, oh my, I love it. But this one, this is it, ladies. This is it. This is the most decadent rose oud leather fragrance. I've ever smelled. And I smelled the rose from Initio, I smelled the rose from Delina, I smelled the rose again by Feel Like Mad, I smelled the rose by Navitus, but this is just up here. Sexy, sultry, complex, sweet, inviting. It is definitely middle eastern leaning there is no hiding it the oud is so smooth but it is present the rose is extremely jammy this is a dense perfume this is dense this is definitely for the colder warmer months this is definitely for night this is a beautiful and unexpected perfume because i feel like i've smelled a lot of oud and rose scent but this one, I don't know what it is about it, but there's something specific in this that makes it just so good. Makes it so good. And this is sell this is sold as a unisex fragrance. So ladies, you can also get your hand on this. The bottle is really similar to the initial bottles. I don't know who did it first. I don't care to know because regardless, beautiful bottles anywhere is worth it. But this is my number one for valentine's day perfume for men i don't know the price point for this i should probably know but i'll insert it on the screen just to let you guys know i'll insert all the price point on the screen if you have watched the video by now then you would have seen it but yeah if you can get your hands on this this is so good like i sprayed that on myself <laughs> i was like obsessed i wanted to smell more so the winner of this year this valentine's day Men edition fragrance is called <laughs> Badi Al Oud by Latafa. Let me know if I'm pronouncing that right or incorrectly. But yeah. So uh, that's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching and see you on the next video. Bye.